Hi you guys, it's Wendy coming to you with a project share. This is a Halloween themed journal. I aimed for black and white images paired with the orange and I altered this green thumb cookbook. It's kind of a larger format. Uh, it's got a lot more space um, going on with it. And so just wanted to show you what I came up with. I've got all these um, black and white um, ribbons and fabrics here for my tassel. My cover is a combination of kind of, I tried to aim for kind of grungy. Um, so we have these um, letters made for printing presses, some corrugated cardboard that I inked up, and then this really cool ATC um, that is um, painted um, with a combination of black and gold. Um, so I think that looks pretty cool. So I just figured I'd show you the inside real quick here. Um, on the inside cover, I've got this cool little manila envelope that's been altered and it has three separate spaces for storing things. <sighs> you can probably hear my dogs <laughs> being crazy upstairs. Um, I've got a book page that says the book of night. I figured that would set the scene or set the theme. Um, and I tried to kind of come at this thematically, just thinking, hey, if a, if a witch um, journaled, what sorts of images would she want in her journal? Um, here we've got a pocket. This came from my beloved uh, child craft encyclopedias. And it's some country that has this celebration where they dress up with these masks. Uh, doily book. I've got this vintage image, the Mendy hand, little pocket here, um, printed on the dictionary page, and this guy's, of course, hypnotizing this fellow. Uh, this is uh, a hand, actually, from Scotland, the bog people. That was kind of creepy and cool. Lots of hands in here. Um, and Farmer's Almanac for October and November. Another little pocket. Got some doll parts because I always find those creepy. Um, planner page. Chili printing. Got the floppy disk holder here. This is on a book on how to make a doll. Lots of fun vintage images. This fellow who looks kind of creepy and menacing. It's another doll part page. <laughs> another dictionary page that I printed an eye out on. Some scrapbook paper here and there. This children's book that has the pumpkin and the snake. I thought that was pretty cool. An envelope for storing things. This beautiful ATC um, that I placed on top of a black and white piece of scrapbook paper, so I think it really pops. Um, a crow definition. This is a little pocket and a little bag that can store things. We have the brains of different animals. Cat skeleton. Um, got this image here, which is pretty fun. I think it's Betty Davis. Skeleton, a men's catalog for watches. I think this is Santa Fe, New Mexico. We've got the um, burial grounds here, or the cemetery. A little owl coloring page. You know, if you're gonna be a witch, you know you probably are doing some coloring in the off time. <laughs> um, owls. Um, I thought this wrought iron gate was kind of creepy, so I included that. Um, this is a beautiful ATC from my collection, and it's got kind of a, you know, old vintage mirror look to it. So that's pretty cool. Another coloring page. This is a mouse pad. This was a, a piece of local art. Um, when you go to the gallery, they give you a little um, postcard uh, to remember the art by. And so I utilize that. Um, I think this is a Mardi Gras image. 
lots of space for writing. Um, here we have a little flip out, a skull. Um, got lots of knitting type images because you know in the off time I'm sure that that uh, which is going to do some knitting coloring page really beautiful coloring page with a skull image that's made up of florals love that just lots of kind of haunting images um, this is a pocket this beautiful vintage image look how long her neck is I think she's definitely haunting um, an owl this woman lots of hand images some boots from a um, Sears Roebuck catalog, probably from the 30s. Um, this is also from the Bog People National Geographic, just a random foot. Uh, we have Meryl Streep, an image from Mardi Gras, a little owl image. Tried to keep it feminine, but also kind of scary. <laughs> um, here's a a bat and a scarecrow, lots of knits, lots of alphabets, got some sheet music on a spider and a children's book on spiders. Um, this was from a 1930s yearbook and in the back they purchased space um, to write messages to the seniors and it's a funeral home so I thought that was kind of fun. Um, also from the Bog People National Geographic, these really cool leather shoes, and an envelope, some corn, just lots of pretty papers. Um, this is a pocket, not sure what this book image was or what it's for. Mandala for coloring. Um, this is uh, also from National Geographic. Not sure what's going on here. Guy Fawkes Day, I guess. Um, this witchy image and this ghostly image. An ATC of a black cat. Um, a church image. Um, owls, dolls, fun ATCs of witches. Spider web cool black and white image so yeah I mean things get somewhat general back here I didn't do starting to get pretty thick back here, back here. Um, so I basically just filled the back with kind of general pages um, anything from scrapbook image scrapbook paper images to just kind of things that fit the color scheme here's some kind of spooky jack-o-lanterns these twins, I always think that maybe they're not twins. I don't know. Um, kind of a Twin Peaks. -y. Um, I've got this image that I think is kind of spooky. But yeah, I just kept it kind of general back in the back. Um, but by and large, here's a top of a pumpkin, some candy corn. On um, the back is this beautiful velvet type material, and then I've got a, some birds on top of that, and this fun little um, frame that can be used. But you can see that, um, you know, it's probably, gosh, I don't know, three inches at the edge and two inches at the base. So I really couldn't be doing tons more. But anyway, yeah, that's my Halloween inspired or witch themed journal but I just wanted to share that with you guys and I will be back in a day or two with some other projects I've been working on. Hopefully you're having a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.